not a bossy bitch. I'm the boss, bitch. <laughs> not girl boss. Who's the boss? Samantha. Just boss, bitch. Boss of this. Boss of all of this. Hot mess and all. Boss when I fly. Boss when I cry. Boss when I pry open the truth lurking behind that lion ass smile. Boss like, fire me? That shit ain't right. But I am the light. This passion burns bright. Boss like, I know who I am. I know what we built. I know how to fight and I will cut you with a motherfucking spoon. Boss like, but I won't though because being a boss means peace over pettiness, purpose over pride, drudging through the rubble that is your trauma tornado. What does come next? Oh, boss, me, was, am, always will be. Me, boss, baby, only sees stars. Stars in me, stars in we, for we contain multitudes. And baby, I'm a star, woo! But can I just like talk for real now? Like be free? Cause I am not a spoken word artist, but I do got something to say. And this story slams. So the other day I woke up, I was going into my journal, getting my pencil bag, you know, the one that we've all had since elementary school, <laughs> with the lip smacker in the tin can, that good shit. I start off the letter, dear, born to boogie. And I started off that way because I remember being that free, fearless, Silly, joy-seeking, belly-bearing girl wearing that I was born to boogie shirt in that photo booth black and white. I was probably like four. That was before they tried to tell me that I am inferior. Me? Do you even see me? Look at these ponytails. Look at this short set with the cherries all over it. I can do a front handspring and a back bend. I skipped half a year of kindergarten for fuck's sake. I kissed Tabor Chapman in the first grade at Ginger Wagner's house. Nobody was kissing boys in the first grade. I was a born trailblazer. <laughs> but yeah, okay, I'm not enough. But wait, maybe I'm not enough. I mean, I really talk differently from my friends and my dad's hair is really long, and everybody else's name gets pronounced correctly. It's Alicia Cristal. No, you can't call me Alicia, or Eli, or E. Don't forget my mama gave me my name. You don't make me. So then, I am enough to be loved, nurtured, supported, celebrated, seen? But they're going to try to leave you back half a grade when you move back to the burbs from Denver. Your mom will fight them and she will win. Mostly so that you remember how smart you really are. And it works. But the brown kids will call you whitewashed. The white kids will call you beaner. Nope. Not enough of either, I guess. So... I take out the ponytails and I switch it up for some Aquanet and I tell my mom, I need to make my hair so big so that I look skinnier. Nope, not thin enough. But there's this spark, this light inside. I get good grades and people see I'm a leader. So I am enough as a leader. So I lead more. I'm the first in my family to go to college. I'm definitely the first 18-year-old in Colorado to say, I'm going to be the next Dr. Ruth. You know what? So I did just that. Yeah. Well, not exactly. Somewhere along the way, I lost my way. Fear, shame, insecurity, 
motherfucking capitalism. Because he, because you know capitalism is a cis white dude, right? I see you. He whispered in my ear, you're a leader. You should be a boss. Oh, so being a leader means I should be a boss? All right, I got you. I got you. So I lead in my career. I become a manager, an executive director, twice, and fuck that shit no more. Uh-uh. I don't even know how I got to that place. That was not my path. How the fuck did I get here? Uh-uh. Book me for a gig, and I will tell you all about how to survive the nonprofit industrial complex so that you don't get burned like I got burned. But you know what? Through it all, this passion, mm, she shine bright. Even when dim, even when they try to snuff it out, even in the shadows, this passion is fire. And everyone around me gets lit up too. I'm that girl. I am that girl. Not girl boss, just boss. Boss like passion is purpose. I am rebirthing me. We are rebirthing we. I am the passion doula.